Hi, this is Ryan with Tremonti. Today I'd like to demonstrate adding a widget area adjacent to the primary menu logo. The business case here is to add individual images that have links to their respective pages to display certifications prominently. This is not a one-size-fits-all solution. There will be some CSS work that you have to do to make it look good for your site. Um, but the tutorial here will give you the foundation for uh, adding the widget area. And then depending on the size of the logos and how many you add, um, you'll have to uh, make some CSS changes as you go to make it look good for every different uh, resolution. So for starters, let's go to the theme customizer primary menu bar and make sure that this full width area is checked to give us the most room possible where we can add our certificates. And then the menu height, we're just going to remove it to, down to 30 and then uh, the max height, maybe keep it around uh, in the 50s. Once that's done, we're going to go into the files. So we have a child theme in place. I recommend uh, you have one in place so that you don't override changes that you make when you update the DV theme. In our child theme, we of course have the functions.php file, and then we also copied the header.php file from DV core, which is in the root of the DV theme. Here it is. Copy this header.php and paste it into your child theme root folder. And then of course we have the style.css file. So first we'll go to the functions.php file and add the widget area. So we're calling this widget area that we are calling the header widget. And we'll save that. Next, we'll go into our child themes header.php file, and right below the div class logo container, we'll paste the uh, widget, widget area, which we give the hw widget and then widget area h head logo one. And this line may change, this number may change as DV makes updates, but just always keep it below this logo underscore container class. Once you make those changes, uh, save them and then refresh your website. And you can see that here are the uh, link or the uh, logo boxes. Um, there's not uh, a good place for them right now because we haven't added any CSS, um, but we will do that now. So I've already added these boxes, and as you can see, there's no widget area right now, but when, once we refresh, um, the header widget area will display with these images. You can replace them. You can add different um, widget items into this box. Okay, so now we'll want to add some CSS and I will share this code in the corresponding post to this video. And it just took me a while to get the look right on different screen sizes. Um, the max width is uh, dictating that anything above 980 uh, will be something different, but anything below 980 will have uh, these properties um, until it gets to 480, and then anything below 480 will have these properties, uh, and so on. So I'm, I've added that, I've saved it. and then re refresh my page. Okay, now they look pretty good. Um, depending on the logo, they may want to be 
pushed down a little bit so they're more in line with how the logo looks and uh, likewise for the um, primary menu bar so uh, you can add some different things to make it look good um, including let's see yeah so here's how it looks on a smaller screen looks pretty good the uh, space between the logos is minimized a little bit to fit everything and then they drop down below the logo uh, to fit on a phone So in the desktop view, I'd like to push down the uh, um, let's see the box a little bit. So we'll just have the the padding top be zero. And we're actually going to push up the logo and the menu bar. All right, that looks a little bit better. So again, these will look different for the logos that you add, or maybe you'll add something other than logos. And the trick is just to keep fiddling with the CSS to uh, make it look on good on different devices using the media rule. And one thing I recommend is just using the inspector and the uh, responsive design mode so that you can get a good sense of the uh, resolution to dictate in the, uh, the media rule. All right, this has been Ryan with Tremonti. Thanks for watching.